Hello, my name is Malini Moni. I am trained as a dentist and I'm a postdoctoral research fellow in the Johns Hopkins Arthritis Center. I would like to share with you some information about what we know concerning oral health in people living with rheumatoid arthritis and autoimmune diseases. Oral health problems are common. Arthritis can affect the ability for patients to have optimal dental care. Arthritis in the hands and wrists, elbows and shoulders can make it hard for people with arthritis to brush their teeth. Based on research done in our center, we now understand that gum disease and tooth loss are more common in people with rheumatoid arthritis. This can be present and severe even at the beginning of arthritis. Sjogren's syndrome is also seen in rheumatoid arthritis and other autoimmune conditions which can lead to cavities throughout the mouth, severe oral dryness and difficulty eating and even tooth loss. Sjogren's syndrome can cause symptoms and predispose to tooth loss. Sjogren's syndrome is an important autoimmune condition that can occur alone or in association with other autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis and lupus. In this condition, the immune system causes inflammation and damage to glands that secrete fluid. These include the salivary glands as well as the glands that make tears and those that make vaginal secretions. When the salivary glands are damaged, people will complain of dry mouth, sticky saliva, food getting stuck in the throat, and difficulty swallowing. Sometimes, Saliva duct can get blocked, leading to severe pain and swelling of that gland that may even become more infected. When there is not enough saliva, the teeth are predisposed to early cavities because saliva, in addition to lubricating, also contains proteins that help to reduce bacteria in the mouth. It is important to drink liquids frequently and consider sucking on sugar-free candies or lozenges to stimulate saliva. Consider using a fluoride rinse such as ACT or Colgate Fluoregard. If you use a mouthwash, use one with or alcohol such as biotin. Look for dry mouth toothpaste at the grocery store. There are other medications that can help with oral dryness. More information about Sjogren's can be found at the Johns Hopkins Sjogren's Center website. Arthritis can affect the jaw joint. Rheumatoid arthritis and spondyloarthritis can affect the joint that opens and closes the mouth. This joint is called as the temporomandibular joint or the TMJ. Inflammation can develop along the tendons and damage can affect the joint itself, making it painful or difficult to open the mouth completely. Many people without arthritis have TMJ symptoms, but it is important for people living with rheumatoid arthritis and any other form of arthritis to recognize this potential symptom. Evaluation of this joint requires specific type of x-rays or full evaluation. For people with this condition, bite guards to wear at night can sometimes be helpful. Be alert for in infections in the mouth. Infections around the teeth could become severe in people taking immune modulating drugs. Signs of bacterial infection include swelling around the tooth, or over the jaw, severe pain, fever, and swollen nodes under your jaw. If you develop these, it is very important to let your doctor or dentist know quickly. A type of fungal infection called candida or oral thrush can also develop in people taking immunosuppressive medications. This looks like a white coating or a little curds that can develop on the tongue or along the cheeks. This condition needs to be treated and it should be evaluated by your doctor or dentist as soon as possible. Oral ulcers. Ulcers in the mouth can be seen in people who take methotrexate. These are sometimes painful. If you are taking methotrexate and develop these, it is important to let your doctor know. Often, these ulcers can be reduced by increasing folic acid supplementation. Mouthwashes with a numbing medicine can sometimes be added if ulcers are very painful. In conclusion, it is important for people with arthritis and autoimmune conditions to recognize that oral health can impact your physical health. 
Brush and floss your teeth regularly. Use an electric toothbrush if need be. Cigarette smoking and chewing tobacco can make oral conditions worse. See a dentist on a regular basis. Bring any new oral health problems to the attention of your doctors and your treating rheumatologist.